Hey, I wanted to make a bit of a different video today, namely, I would like to present to you one of my favorite, most unique ASMR channels. It's quite niche though, and unfortunately the creator has stopped to make videos. It's called Me and Big Boy ASMR. And here is a short preview. Good morning, come right in. Uh, I have the final selection of watches for you today. Hey, Jimmy Choo is alligator leather. Very spectacular watch. Let me just take it out of here. Stunning silk shirt by Versace. So did you see anything you like? So what's so special about this guy? First of all, he wears very interesting flamboyant clothes. It's a very uh, exquisite taste, I would say. Somewhat reminds me of producer Michael, maybe even. Uh, he has a dog, a chihuahua, and his first video is him singing to his dog. Stay awake to rest your head. Don't lie down upon your bed. Mm -hmm. He has a dollhouse and he makes videos about this one too. Hello everyone, this is a miniature house that took me about a year to bake. Alright, so here is a dollhouse that took me over two years to make. It has ten rooms. And here's the living room. And there's a cat from the fireplace, which I made. I made the cat. You can see it. Right there. And most importantly, maybe, he has tons and tons of luxury items of crystals, of handbags, purses, uh, t-shirts, sweatshirts, ties, designer watches. He loves everything that is blingy and nice and expensive, it seems. And yeah, you're gonna find out more about this later, but I think he's really fascinating and I really don't wanna be mean here at all. I have to say I genuinely enjoy his videos, especially his like role plays. I mean, his audio and video quality are pretty terrible. I don't know if it's recorded on a potato, but I do have to admit I fell asleep to his purse and designer clothes role plays many times. So instead of me just talking about this channel, I thought I'd rather show you some of my favorite moments. And I gotta say, my favorite category of videos of his, he has like 70 videos, are his role plays with purses, designer purses and handbags, of course, only the finest leathers. And I really love the sounds of the zippers, of the handles, of him touching the surfaces, and also the crinkly papers and wrappers sometimes. So here are some of my favorite moments for you. Good morning. Uh, so you're doing some early shopping? Great. I chose some things I think you'd like. So if you want to get started, uh, first of all, I have this purple Armani wallet. It's leather, very shiny leather. It has a crystal right there. Nice big Zipper pull. Has uh, leather inside. And this is silk. We have a zipper here, zipper compartment. And of course, spaces for credit cards, pockets. Next, I have a very nice silver leather Chanel wallet. 
It's the double C for Coco Chanel. It's very nice. Um, here is the separate rip mat. And that silk inside. And this is a cross between a wallet and a purse. It's a Louis Vuitton. It has shiny, bright green leather. The, the symbols for Louis Vuitton that he uses all the time. This pops open like that. And leather inside with silk. Department for change and the pockets for credit cards. So that's Louis Vuitton. Wallet. We've got the Medusa head, some purplish stones, and nice red metallic leather. That is Chanel. Very nice. Jimmy Choo is alligator leather, it's plum colored. It's very big. Nice hardware. Have a zipper. Silk inside. here. Pocket for cell phone and wallet. And then also we have two zippered compartments on this side. That's very nice. Very nice red shiny leather Versace first. I really like the hardware on this. We have also charm hanging with a Medusa head. Uh, this piece in the front snaps open. Magnetic snap. Mm 
very extremely soft leather. Prada, okay. with a very popular design. It has a lock, and here's the key. This leather is so soft. I think it's the softest leather I've ever felt in my life. First of all, I have this very nice Louis Vuitton handbag. It has this colorful hand-painted design on the front. This is a limited edition. There were only 25 of these made. And this is leather. Inside, I've got a silk interior. Now there's a zippered compartment. And what's nice is it also comes with this change purse. And the owner is adding some extra things to whoever buys this. We have a Louis Vuitton keychain. It looks like a gift box. So let's move on to this nice Chanel leather purse. And uh, this is very soft leather. It has an interesting design with the double C's and then figures of Chanel sitting on the double C's. I have this very nice, extremely soft leather pink Versace purse. It has embossed Greek key design with Medusa heads. The hardware is very nice. I want to feel how soft it is. This zipper compartment on the outside. You can change your work on in here. Now let's look at the inside. Okay. Zip this open. We have this beautiful gold and silk lining with Versace Medusa head design. We have a super compartment here. It's very nice. Alright. I have another Louis Vuitton leather. Purse. And this has embossed Louis Vuitton designs. Some very bright 
reddish pink color. This is leather, and uh, what's nice is this has a removable leather print, smaller purse inside. Inside this is silk interior. Designs. And lastly, I have this beautiful Hermes Birkin with this three dimensional. Famous Hermes logo of horse and carriage. Leather is very fine. Very soft blue leather. Has a nice fresh scent. Right. So that's what I have today. Did you like anything? says thank you for letting me reach 500 subscribers and I hope to get many more okay did you enjoy it maybe you already noticed what's so special about this channel right I don't know if me and big boy watches this please don't get mad at me but all of the stuff on this channel is fake replica stuff all of this stuff is very obviously fake stuff i have no idea where this comes from but it's all fake i'm sorry but this doesn't make it less relaxing to me maybe even more relaxing to me but oof, i gotta say he really does have a special taste i mean this pink bag it's just a nightmare to me at least or this golden one or the apparent Hermes one, the blue one with the horse on it. Is this a real thing? Is this even a replica or is it just a new design? I mean, to me, it's, I wouldn't even take this for money. I mean, it's, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, let's get on with the second category, which is watches. Of course, luxury watches. I gotta say, I really enjoy the clasps. Uh, the, uh, the wristbands, sometimes there's still packaging on it and him explaining all the intricacies of the watches. I really enjoyed it, so check it out. Hello, good to see you. Uh, I have so many watches to show you. Um, I was wondering if you could come a couple more times so I could show you all of them. Is that, a, is that all right? Excellent. So let me start out with this... Uh, Piaget. It has a rose gold, 18 karat rose gold case, and it depicts the Eiffel Tower and Arc de Triomphe on the face of the watch. Very nice watch. And here's the back. Next watch I have is a Patek Philippe. This has a platinum case. And then it has these swirls of diamonds and circles of diamonds on a pink mother of pearl background. Very nice watch. The band is this pink, almost silvery metallic color, leather. Okay, next I have a Rolex GMT Master II. And it is, it has a, an 18 karat yellow gold case and band, as you can see. And 
it has diamonds on top and bottom and sapphires, rubies, and diamonds around the face. Okay. Next I have a Gaga Milano watch. This is 18 karat white gold. And there are Pave diamonds all around the face and on the stem, on the buckle. We have these bold, colorful numerals that they are famous for. And the stem is on the top, which is nice. Now I have a Christian Dior watch. And this is 18 karat yellow gold case and band. And we have a nice green metallic watch face. And diamonds around the face. And four small diamonds for the numerals. morning. Today I have some watches to show you and a few other things. I'd like to start out with uh, this Tag Heuer watch. It comes in a nice leather watch box. And this is a Tag Heuer Monaco. And it's auto mechanical, you would wind it and also will wind with your wrist movements automatically. It's a very attractive watch with a big face. And it has two chronographs and one is the month and the other is the day of the week. So that's the month and that's the day of the week. And down at the bottom is the window for the date. This has a nice black leather watch band. Tag Heuer has been making watches for over a hundred years in Germany. The case is stainless steel, very nice mirror finish. Now I have another Tag Heuer. It's a little different. It is all stainless steel. And it has three chronographs, which are military time and seconds. And then there's a stopwatch. We also have a date window. So we got military time, seconds, stopwatch. And the date window is right there very nice bold masculine watch let me show you how it closes it's very easy you would just snap it like that and then you press these two buttons on the sides to open it And you would manually wind this. This is all stainless steel. And we have five carats of 
rectangular cut F color flawless diamonds around the face of the watch. And eight of the numerals have small diamonds. Let me show you the closure. You just pull that up and then this pulls up like that. It snaps and then it goes down. Of course, you manually wind these. And this is 18 karat white gold case and closure in the back. Next, I have this A Long A and CERN watch. A Long and CERN have been in business a very long time. And they have three chronographs. This is a datagraph with the, the month, the day of the week. And at the bottom, there's military time and a moon phase. And at the top, we have the date through the window and you manually align this and it's auto mechanical. So your movements will wind it. And here's the closure. Closes down like that, snaps into place. Then you press this button and it opens. Very simple. All stainless steel. Very attractive watch. All right. Next, I have this very nice Patek Philippe watch. It has a black leather band and black face. And it has three carats of F color diamonds around the face. And eight of the numerals have diamonds. At the bottom we have the seconds. If you can see that moving, it's very small. This is a very classy, elegant watch. That would be very nice for a black tie event. Now I have a very nice uh, Elaine Silberstein watch, which is all stainless steel. And here's the closure in the back, which snaps down and locks into place. And this is auto mechanical when you wind it and also will wind automatically when your wrist moves. You can see through the back. And Elaine Silverstein has a very whimsical approach to his watch designs. Very thick, large watch case. And then enamel on the buttons on the side and a triangular watch stem. And the hands are very colorful and there's a curved second hand. We have two chronographs, which are the month and then military time. So a month and a military time. Good morning, come right in. Uh, I have the final selection of watches for you today. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, I'd like to start off with this 
Chopard Imperial. This is a very elegant, classy watch. And it has a an 18 karat rose gold case. And we have diamonds around the face. And then on each side and on the stem we have blue sapphires. Next I have this very unusual Lamborghini watch. It's all stainless steel and we have a red face and silver metallic Roman numerals. We have almost um, talon-like structures holding the face of the watch. Very interesting. Very, very heavy watch. Next, I have. Another date just Rolex. Right. Just take it out of here. This has 18 karat rose gold and stainless steel band. And then a rose gold bezel with diamonds. And the number six and nine are studded with rubies. So let me take this off and show it here. Very spectacular Rolex. This has a leopard theme. The band has a leopard design. It's leather. And this is 18 karat yellow gold. We have diamonds on either end and then some beautiful orange sapphire surrounding the face of the watch. We have three chronographs. This is a Daytona. It's called a Cosmograph. And of course we have you know diamonds for the numerals. It's very Flashy watch. And lastly, today I have an Hublot. And this is a very spectacular watch. It just here. All right, this has a light purple rubber band and it is 18 karat rose gold and there are purple sapphires around the face of the watch. It has two chronographs. Finally, I have a 
spectacular watch in my opinion. This is a Piaget. It has a an 18 karat yellow gold case with a dragon motif and diamonds around the dial. And it pops open like so. You press this and then you have a rather plain face with red metallic and just the hands and it's very plain but elegant and that is all I have for today did anything interest you? This one. This is uh, eighty-five thousand dollars. You will take it. Fantastic. So yeah, as you can see, the creator has tons of very expensive Rolexes and Patek Philippe's and all other designer brands. <laughs> I mean, some of the models. I don't think they even exist in real life, like the Patek Philippe. And all of these have these, to my mind, ugly, iced out blingies on them. Why? I mean, that's similar to producer Michael too. Now he has the real watches, but if you don't know the channel at the beginning, he also had these ugly secondary market bling, blingy watches, which I can't really understand, but in any case, still relaxing right i do however wonder is it even illegal is it even legal to have these replicas to buy those because i think in some countries like when you go to italy or when you fly out from italy if you have tons of fake stuff in your handbag you might get into trouble at customs or something because it's obviously infringement with like um, ip law and with brand law and uh, I wonder if just owning these things is legal or not. I'm not sure. All right. The third category I really enjoy is jewelry. Of course, some very exquisite pieces by all kinds of brands. Hermes and I don't know what, Dior. Lots of tigers and jaguars and so on. So please check it out. Good morning. Today I have some really exquisite pieces of jewelry by Bulgari to show you. So uh, let's get started. I have, first of all, this beautiful platinum necklace. And it has this sunburst pattern with pink, orange, green, and purple sapphires. It's a very interesting necklace. Next I have a ring. And it has three charms on the bottom of the ring that swivel and move. And this is a light blue sapphire, and we have an amethyst and a yellow sapphire. And as you can see, these move. This is 18 karat white gold. Uh, I have some really beautiful designer jewelry to show you today. Uh, first of all, I have five pieces by Van Cleef and Arpels that are very nice. The first one I have is a necklace that is 18 karat rose gold. 
we have an Alhambra symbol and it has seven carats of diamonds and then this checkerboard enamel design. We also have hanging on the side a one carat flawless F color diamond. Next I have one piece by Versace and it's an 18 karat white gold bracelet. We have the famous Versace Medusa head in the center and then we have a Greek key design on either side. First of all, I have this 18 karat white gold necklace. And it has the double C's for Coco Chanel. And we have the double C's with two carats of G color flawless diamonds. Then we have two Champagne diamonds that are square cut and 0.75 carats each, and then a pink sapphire and a green sapphire. A couple of things from the designer Marco Moore. He's known for his colored gemstones. First of all, I have this beautiful ring. It's in 18 karat white gold. And in the center, we have a one karat ruby and it's surrounded by five carats of various colored sapphires. And around the edges, we have a total of two carats of G color diamonds. A filigree design. Finally, this other Van Cleef and Arpels ring is really magnificent. It has an 11 carat star ruby with beautiful color and a very sharp star. And there's a fairy sitting on the ruby. And there are half carat of F color diamonds. This is in 18 carat white gold. Beautiful ring. So did you see anything that you like? Yeah, I know it's overwhelming, so, you know, why don't you think about it and come back next week. I have some more items to show you, and I will see you then. Bye-bye. Hello, I have some really gorgeous uh, jewelry to show you today, so uh, let's get started. First, I have this bracelet from Tiffany. It's 18 karat white gold. And then we have these open 3D cubes that have colored sapphires inside them. So we have orange, pink, light blue, and purple sapphires inside the cubes. The bracelet is seven and a half inches long. And there's a total of nine carats of sapphires, colored sapphires. All right. Next I have two pieces by Cartier. Actually, the first item is a set, and we have 
panther heads in 18 karat rose gold. This little chain is 18 inches long. And then we have these earrings in a pendant with panther heads holding rings of diamonds. The necklace has a ring with a quarter carat diamond and then the panther is holding a half carat diamond in his mouth. These are F color diamonds. So we got a quarter carat diamond here, a half carat diamond, and then the rest are Pave diamonds totaling two carats. There's a total of one carat of Pave diamonds in each earring. And there's also a, a 20 point diamond on the bottom of each ring that the Panthers are holding in their mouth. So let me show you this closer. Closer. All right, so we have these leopard heads holding a ring, and the spots are blue sapphires, and then we have blue sapphires in the rest of the bracelet. There's a total of 12 carats of sapphires. We have little ruby eyes for each leopard. And then we have a total of two carats of pave diamonds. They're F color on the heads and on the ring. It's a very stunning piece, I think. Next I have a very beautiful ring by Stephen Webster. We have many colored gemstones. There's a uh, blue sapphire, rubies, aquamarine, citrine, peridot, and green tourmaline. And then the gemstones have these two teardrop shapes with diamonds on them surrounding them. There's two carats of G-colored diamonds and this is in 18 karat white gold. Nice open work design. And if you're not familiar with degrasogonal jewelry, I would say, I would describe them as having fantastically artistic jewelry with a symphony of uh, brilliantly colored gemstones and incredible artistry really. So this is a uh, ruby ring. There's seven carats of rubies. Beautiful fine red Burmese rubies in 18 karat white gold. The center ruby cabochon is two carats. This beautiful 20 karat red spinel melted in platinum and it's surrounded by one and a half carats of F color flawless diamonds. It's interesting that throughout history uh, red spinels have been confused for rubies. The uh, Prince's ruby and the crown jewels was thought, was thought to be a ruby for centuries, and it's actually a red spinel. It's a very beautiful gemstone. Finally, I have this beautiful 25 karat oval cut flawless aquamarine from Brazil. It's mounted in 18 karat white gold. And we have this beautiful, big, heavy 18 karat white gold 
chain with a big luster claw clasp. It's really a beautiful gemstone. So did you see anything you like? The diamond ring, that's a good choice. Very nice. The price is... F All right, so did you like them? Some beautiful pieces, right? I mean, to me, some of them are just crazy, like those tiger pieces, those huge diamonds that don't even look like diamonds. I mean, it's crazy, but uh, it's what's so crazy to me is how good he is in describing those with fake uh, facts like oh this is 18 karat yellow gold or oh, this is a beautiful VVS diamond or these are some uh, 24 karat silver golds I really wonder like if, does he believe that this is true uh, does he just write this down beforehand or does he just make it up on the spot because if he does, it's pretty impressive. I mean, I would hire him as a salesman. But again, it's really not my taste, those big pieces. I really wonder who would even wear that, like except from some hardcore old school rappers like Flava Flav or maybe some Persians or something. I have no idea, no offense. But um, it's, it's crazy to me, it's insane. Okay, finally, I really enjoy the role plays where you show us different clothes. Good morning, I have some really colorful shirts for you today that I would love to show you. First of all, I have this cotton short sleeve shirt by Alexander Julian, colors by Alexander Julian. It has this wonderful, colorful panels. We also have a pocket in the front with a button. You can also button down the collar if you desire. Here's the back. This silk shirt by Vehicle. We have this colorful design that resembles computer circuitry. Very nice satiny luster. It's very soft if you want to feel that. is a very colorful and bold design. And it's silk. It's by International Concepts or INC. We have a pocket in the front. last short sleeve shirt that I have is by Malson Hoffman and this is cotton and it's very thin light material perfect for Florida nice colorful stripes we have two pockets in the front next I have this Stunning silk shirt by Versace. And this has a an astrology design. 
the horoscope signs. Very soft silk. We have the sun also, the stars, planets. Beautiful design. The buttons are hidden by this panel in the front. Also very soft. Now I have a cotton jacket by Gucci. And this could also be worn as a shirt. It has a rather thick material, very soft. And have a butterfly design. It has snaps. There is a gold Gucci emblem right here. The front. I love this butterfly design. Alright, now lastly I have this Givenchy pullover silk shirt with this dazzling and mesmerizing design that resembles stars and galaxies. Very soft silk. So did you see anything that you like? The Versace shirt? It's a very good choice. Right. Well. Yes, this is a beautiful shirt. It's been a pleasure and thank you for coming in today. Yeah. Did you like it? Which piece would you get? I mean, honestly, this one shirt with the stripes is almost wearable, but the rest is just too cartoonish, almost like a clown or something. And I mean, some of those outfits, I really wonder what the material is because it sounds like plastic like 100% polyester plastic or something, because he always says it's silk or it's like wool or mammoth wool or something, but <laughs> it very much seems to be plastic-y. Can you even wear those fabrics? Are they breathable? I mean, he seems to be wearing them, but it's, it's crazy to me. I mean, yeah. I gotta say, I really do like this channel, so if you haven't already, please check it out. I think he does it well. He has a good voice. He's very patient. He has, he's really quite soft-spoken. He's friendly. He knows his stuff well also. I really wonder if he ever worked in, in a retail store or something. Or I think this is the most fascinating thing to me. The question, where does he get that stuff from? Like, is it some kind of, is it wish.com? Is it Alibaba? Is it some fake market because some of the stuff I wouldn't even know where to get it like those Patek Philippe's with those iced out or something it's insane and second of all where does he do the stuff like does he resell it does he all stack it in his garage I mean even if it's fake stuff it must cost quite a bit to ship it to um, I don't know it's pretty insane he must spend quite a bit on this stuff 
and uh, maybe maybe he resells it maybe he actually imports it from china and he's a genius businessman i have no idea but this is fascinating to me and i really but he never like links his shop or something i mean part of me really thinks that he might i think he really loves this stuff he loves luxury and bling bling just like there's a few people who love this royal pompous exquisite stuff like it has to be as shiny as possible just like chinese people if they have money or middle east people everything is in gold and everything is luxury brands they love this stuff they really do and i think maybe he wanted to live that lifestyle too but it's unaffordable and so he started ordering this stuff and started to kind of role play like it's real stuff i almost feel like because he has all these facts like 18 karat gold and this is a perfect sapphire which are obviously all made up but i wonder like it's, it's crazy to me the question if he makes these facts up or if they're really i don't know um if he prepares like beforehand what he's going to say about which, pro which product in any case again if i owned a store with shitty goods i would hire him because i think he can sell everything would he lie a bit yeah sure but he would be awesome at selling this stuff i mean i gotta say i really wonder what this guy's life is like like does he have a partner does he have a wife maybe a husband rather does he have like full garages full of this stuff does he sell it does he play with dolls all the time? Why does he do that stuff with his hair? I mean, I gotta say in some of the videos with the poor audio quality, it does give off a bit of a Silence of the Lambs vibe, like instead of saying it puts on the lotion, he would say something like it puts on the Hermes bag, please, like in the well. No, I mean, it's, it's crazy, but no disrespect to this guy if you're watching this please continue making videos i love them i think you have a natural gift for them i'm happy to buy you maybe new audio and video equipment and i'm not dissing you in any way to be honest i do prefer these kind of unique characters as opposed to those highly polished model looking asmr channels to me they're more organic more natural and more relatable somehow so yeah, in any case, this was my channel review, my niche secret tip, me and big boy or mean D big boy, whatever it is, the biggest luxury retailer or collector in the world, probably. Maybe I'm wrong and this is all original and he's actually a, bill a billionaire, then I'm sorry, no offense, please don't have me killed. In any case, I really do enjoy the channel. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye, goodbye.